Hey guys, welcome. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. The cold months are upon us and that's why I'm going to talk to you about my hydrating or moisturizing skincare routine that I use especially for the cold season. Besides some of the products I'm going to talk to you about today or use in my skincare routine, I also have some recommendations for you. So stay tuned till the end. So I have dry skin, very dry skin, especially in the winter months, and it is also sensitive. All my skincare issues come from dryness. So if my skin gets really dry or flaky, I get lots of redness and lots of close comedones. So I always try to keep my skin really moisturized and hydrated. So most of my skincare products are geared towards that, especially in winter months. Most of them are just really hydrating, moisturizing, soothing products. A lot of people start their skincare routine with some form of cleansing and that's what I do as well. Most mornings I don't use any kind of cleanser, I just use cold water or lukewarm water to wash my face. And that really works for me because I don't necessarily have a lot of dirt on my face through the night. It just can get a little bit, you know, just a little bit oily or sticky through the night and water works just fine for that. And I think this is a good time to tell you about my most favorite skincare product that I discovered recently. It's this makeup remover or cleansing glove from the company Glove. This removes makeup so well. I have tested it on my foundation. It removes my foundation, eyeshadow, and even waterproof mascara. This is so good, you don't even need to apply a cleanser or anything, you just need to run this under water and then wipe your face with it, that's all. I was so surprised, I was a little skeptical, I, I think I did not understand how this works and that's the texture of the material. It's really soft on the skin, it's like a fluffy <laughs> blanket. And I also use this a few mornings. I run it under cold water and I just gently give my face a massage. I just feel refreshed after using this. And in the mornings when I'm trying to wake up, this really helps me wake up and feel refreshed. And because I use cold water a lot of times, it also helps with my redness because cold temperatures restrict your blood vessels. So it helps with redness a little bit, obviously. In cold season, not a lot of people like using cold water, but you can also use lukewarm water. I would not recommend using hot water, even in your showers or even when you wash your hair. Always try to use at least lukewarm water, if not cold water. And when I'm doing this, I'm really gentle on the skin. You want to do this too, or if you use any kind of cotton pads on your face, you definitely don't want to pull your eye area or your skin in general, just be really gentle. I've used this so many times and I've removed makeup and I just used soap to clean this and it looks like new every time. The d <laughs> this is so surprising and this is also sustainable and I've been getting into a lot of green or sustainable products these days and I think this product is the right step in that direction and I totally recommend this, my new favorite product. And I got that amazing glove as a part of my Kinder Beauty box and they are sponsoring a part of this video. Kinder Beauty is clean, vegan, cruelty-free beauty subscription box. Subscribers get up to $165 worth of clean skincare, hair care and makeup products that are picked by their two co-founders Daniela Monet and Ivana Lynch and all of this for just $23 a month. Your first box will be a Kinder Beauty favorites box and that's what I received. It is worth $122 but you're just paying $23. And if you sign up for the three month or six month plan, you will automatically receive a free box worth of $85. And you can also use my code TEJU50 to get 50% off on your first box. Kinder Beauty also has a marketplace and you don't have to be a subscriber and it is open for everybody. You can get amazing deals on beauty products from the best brands in clean beauty. And the best thing for me is that Kinder Beauty Box will donate some of their profits to their charity partners. And some of the other cleansers I currently use for oil cleansing, I use this, my holy grail, my favorite cleansing oil from Burt's Beats. This is super duper affordable and very, very effective. 
I really like this one. It removes all kinds of makeup in my opinion and I really like the smell too. It has coconut oil and argan oil and it is very affordable. If you're in the market for a cleansing oil, definitely check this out. I've been using this for months, you know, years for now and it's like almost over and I will be getting it again. And the other one I have is from Alvan. This is Tricera Nutri Fluid Cleansing Gel. I use this as a second step in my two-step cleansing routine whenever I have makeup on. This is very gentle. As I mentioned already, I have dry, sensitive skin and Alvan products are really good for sensitive skin. This does not dry out my skin and it also feels really soft. It does lather up pretty good, but it is not harsh. It's pretty gentle and I really like it. And this is also almost over. <laughs> I might repurchase this again. And the other one that I don't have with me right now because I've used it and thrown it away, it's really, really gentle. It's the Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. That one doesn't lather up. I like using that in the mornings mostly because it also is like a moisturizing lotion slash cleanser. So my skin feels really moisturized and supple after I use that one. I don't have it with me right now, but it's a really good one if you have dry skin, especially for winter months. After cleansing, I move into serums. Usually don't use exfoliating serums because I have sensitive skin. So I usually use like maybe once a week or twice a week, but in winter months, I don't do it at all because they dry out my skin and it causes me sensitive redness and sensitive skin issues. So I don't use that. And if you are somebody with sensitive skin, I recommend reducing your AHA, BHA and other you know, active ingredients and serums that contain that. So I mostly use moisturizing or hydrating serums. And most recently I found this product in Target. It's the Ceramide Barrier Serum from Coco Kind. And this is so good. I really like it. It is really moisturizing. It's very supple and it has five ceramides and squalene to support the skin barrier and moisture loss. They have sustainability facts on their box here, their carbon emissions, production and everything. And it's a very interesting to know that beauty brands these days are getting more and more environmentally conscious. And I really like that. That's also one of the reasons I picked this up and I'm really happy that it is working out really well for me. And it has a dropper bottle and it is very moisturizing and like a soothing milky kind of texture to it. And it smells like oat milk, but I don't think oat milk or oats is one of the ingredients though. And I take a few drops here and there and I just gently apply it. Every time I apply anything to my face, I'm always gentle. I don't put much pressure at all. And it's very moisturizing and it helped me with some of the flaky skin I had around my mouth. And it is very lightweight and also has, you know, squalene. It's a great emollient for your skin and it has five ceramides. The next one I have, which I'm not going to use today, is the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum from First Aid Beauty. This one is more lightweight, kind of has a jelly texture. This doesn't feel as moisturizing as the Kogo kind serum, but this is more like a hydrating serum because of hyaluronic acid. Whenever I apply the Ultra Repair Serum, I usually apply it to kind of like a moist skin, like my skin is still a little bit moist. That's when I apply hyaluronic acid serums. This also helps with redness for my skin and I really like it. And some days I do use a tretinoin, so I don't necessarily need other exfoliating products because I use tretinoin. If you do not use tretinoin or retinol or retin-A products and you use other kind of exfoliation products, you might want to continue using them. But I would recommend reduce the number of times you use through the week, maybe once a week or twice a week. I used to use tretinoin almost every day in summer season, but right now, I use it only twice a week or sometimes even once a week depending on how my skin is feeling because tretinoin does dry out my skin but for some reason it does not cause redness. It actually helps with my redness, that's, how, that's what I noticed. So I continue to use tretinoin for a number of reasons and that is working for me. So after using my serums, I move on to a moisturizer. The most recent moisturizer I'm using is from Earth Harbor. 
It's their mermaid milk nutrient glow moisturizer. It has spirulina and matcha. This was also included in my Kinder Beauty box. This one is also cruelty free, vegan. They have plant-based ingredients, so it is totally vegan. It has olive oil, it has aloe juice, coconut oil. I was also a little skeptical about this because sometimes natural moisturizers, which have a lot of oils, do not really work with my skin because I have, again, sensitive skin issues. And also they do not necessarily provide a lot of moisturization or hydrations. Even though they have emollient skincare ingredients, I don't know why, sometimes they just do not work. But I was surprised with this one because I really like this one. It is really moisturizing. It did not cause any sensitive skin issues to me and it has some heavy ingredients as well. But it feels really lightweight on the skin. So a lot of moisturizers, I apply them and after a couple of hours, you know, when you move your face, you know, like when you're talking or just living life, you can feel like there is some tightness maybe around here or maybe around here. I don't get that with this moisturizer. I don't know what it does, but it really works. It has a lot of natural, really good ingredients. Some of my favorites are turmeric, neem, olive oil, aloe juice. And this also has that typical matcha smell. It's not necessarily fragranced, just the smell coming from its natural ingredients. And I take like a few dabs here the only thing is like they don't have a spoon or any spatula with this so you'll have to use it with your hands and that's one thing that i do not like about jars but still this is a great product and i would still like to continue using it you know i would like to pick and choose my battles um, but i think this is a little bit much for it but i always go a little bit overboard um, a little goes a long way it spreads really well because it smells kind of herbal you know and even though it has a lot of uh, oils and natural ingredients it does not feel oily at all like once I'm done spreading and it dries down to this like a soft matte finish it's not oily at all and it gives me this really really subtle glow it's not over the top so the mermaid milk moisturizer is a good one and besides that i also have a few others that i use uh, one of them being the cetaphil moisturizing lotion this is like no frills attached bare bones moisturizer that works really well and it is also very moisturizing i also like to use this whenever i have dry flaky skin besides the milk moisturizer that i talked about this one is also a great alternative and everybody knows about cetaphil you can just find this affordable product everywhere target kroger a lot of drugstores and this is a good one too the next i go on to my eyes the one i'm going to use today is from avrani is the eye rejuvenating elixir it has sweet almond oil, rose water, and avocado oil. The brand Avrani is also like a natural skincare brand, and they are based on some of these age-old ancient skincare rituals from India. And if you're interested in natural organic products, you definitely, definitely need to check out the brand Avrani. Their eye moisturizer is no different at all. It's really good. It's lightweight enough for my eye area but also packs a punch because of my tretinoin use I do get dry patches around here and this works really well and sometimes you don't necessarily need to have a separate eye cream you could also just use your moisturizer take a little bit of your moisturizer and apply it around your eyes but sometimes these heavyweight moisturizers that you use for the rest of your face might be a little bit much for under eyes and that's when eye creams come into the picture but i'm not totally against using your moisturizer for your under eyes as well because i do it as well sometimes so i take a little bit of uh, the product for my eyes and like spread it a little bit and then dab it i'm always gentle when i'm using it around my eyes and this eye cream comes in comes with the pump so you don't need to put your fingers in there that is something I really like about the packaging. After moisturizer, time for any oils or overnight face masks. 
I don't usually use a facial oil in summer especially but with winter you know the heat is on and the skin can get dry really dry throughout the night and that's where oils or overnight face masks come in because they give you like a barrier on top of your skincare and stops the products or moisturizers from evaporating away or the moisture from your skin in general it locks it in place so my recent favorite oil that i've been using is from dirty lamb it's the ultra night serum this was also included in the kinder beauty subscription box this oil is rich in antioxidants and fatty acids it has weed germ oil avocado oil sweet almond oil but it also has a hint of ylang ylang lavender oils i'm always a little skeptical of essential oils even though i enjoy the smell but sometimes they can cause sensitive skin issues so i was a little cautious and skeptical before using this or while using this but i'm happy to report that it did not cause any sensitive skin issues or any close comedones or anything in fact it really helps my skincare routine to lock in place and my skin is still moisturized in the morning as well but i won't recommend using any kind of skincare oils or facial oils without a moisturizer underneath because this is good to lock your moisturization in place but it won't necessarily give you additional moisturization or hydration so you always need to use a moisturizer underneath because i made that mistake several times i used to just apply facial oils without a moisturizer even though it feels moisturized or nice when i'm wearing it but when you wash it off or the next day your skin will definitely feel more dry even if it's not this one you will still be benefited by using a facial oil especially in winter months and even though it has a lot of oils it does not feel really oily on the skin it is not heavy at all and other than that facial oil i've been recently using this overnight mask from wind it's the Cusba moonlight nightly mask besides locking your skincare this also provides hydration it has vitamin e argan oil and glycerin it is vegan and cruelty free and carbon neutral <laughs> how cool is that so i use this at night after my all my skincare routine serum moisturizer and I apply this in the end and when i wake up in the morning my face feels plump and really moisturized and never really dry this really works for that and it also has an interesting texture it's a cream when you apply it the first time and as you rub it into your skin it changes into an oil but again i'm always skeptical with fragranced products and this one did not cause any issues to my sensitive skin so as long as it does not cause any issues i'm okay with that and i totally like it and i use it very often i hope you like this video i've put some thought into it and i've tested all the products are recommended here i'm also happy that i got to work with kinder beauty on this i really like their core values and i would like to support them and that's the reason i agreed to this sponsorship and if you have any questions about any of the products i mentioned in this video feel free to comment down below and i will try my best to reply to all your comments please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon in my next video